Welcome to follow Jesus Bible study. This is February. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 17th, 2024. Praise God. Here we go. Isaiah chapter 40. They are both with us this wonderful time, this wonderful evening here. I warmly uh, welcome to both of you from heart. Thank you, Lord. Praise Jesus. God bless again both of you. So we are blessed with this message. I hope this message God gave up for me through Sister Liliani. And so I hope this holy words, this precious holy word for a God purpose. God used Sister Liliani for his glory. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So today, uh, your all words will be for the next level. So welcome and let's start, Sister Liliani, uh, woman of God. So please, let's start. Glory. Thank you so much. God bless you. Welcome, Brother Naveed. Thank you, Sister G. Glory to his name and thank you for all of you for praying for me. Amen. Amen. Healed by the power of God. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. Let's pray. Oh, precious Heavenly Father. Oh, Lord, I thank you for that next level. Lord, you promised to take us from glory to glory. Everything in your word is about lifting you higher. And when we lift you high, we are lifted and pulled up with you. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you for this great opportunity. Lord, I submit myself to you right now. Speak through me, Father. Lord, we need ears to hear. And you are the need meter. We need clear minds to process. And you are the need meter. Make our heart fertile ground. To receive and root the precious seed of the gospel today. In the precious and powerful name of Jesus. We give you thanks. Amen. Amen. Now, I want to sing a little song first. The Lord told me that somebody needs encouraged. I want to remind you of who you are in Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Oh, Pastor G, I'm going to tell you the little bit of lyrics. Okay. Then you can let them know what I'm saying. I've got a river of life flowing out from me. It makes the lame to walk. And the blind to see. It opens prison doors. It sets the captives free. I've got a river of life flowing out from me. Spring up, O oh well, within my soul. Spring up, O oh well. And make me whole. Spring up, O oh well. And give to me. That life abundantly. Oh, I've got a river of life flowing now from me. It makes the lame to walk and the blind to see. It opens prison doors, sets the captives free. I've got a river of life flowing out from me. Spring up, oh well, within my soul. Spring up, oh well. And make me whole, spring up, oh well, and give to me that life abundantly. Oh, I've got a river of life flowing out from me. It makes the lame to walk and the blind to see it opens prison doors sets the captives free oh i've got a river of life flowing out from me spring up oh well within my soul spring up oh well and make me whole spring up oh well and give to me that life abundantly. Oh, that life abundantly. Amen. 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 Thank you, Sister G. Wonderful. Amen. I just was in the scripture today. where the multitudes came to Jesus. And no matter what the sickness or the problem, people with seizures, people with deadly diseases, invalids and cripples, the blind, the deaf and dumb. People laid them at the feet of Jesus. And our Bible says, He healed them all. At no time did Jesus tell someone. Uh, move to the back of the line. You're going to have to stay sick a little longer. 
تو میں تھوڑی دیر کے لیے مزید وہاں پر ٹھہرنا ہے لائن میں گاڈس ٹیچنگ یو سم تھنگ خدا تجھے کچھ سکھا رہا ہے نو نہیں ہاللویا دیٹس رونگ خداون کی تعریف ہو یہ ایک غلط تعلیم ہے Jesus said, come unto me. All of you who labor and are heavily burdened. I will give you life and light. Jesus said, I came to do the work of the one who sent me. Now, God is the one who sent him. And if Jesus was healing everyone, Jesus was bringing deliverance and salvation. Then that is obviously a picture of our Father. Jesus said the enemy comes to steal, kill and destroy. But I have come that you will have life and that life will be abundant life because my father is more than enough. And that means I am more than enough. Now who is living in you? You'll say, Sister Leilani, Jesus lives in me. Then that means that you have become more than enough just like your father and your savior. اس کا مطلب یہ ہے کہ آپ خدا باپ کی طرح اور آپ کے اپنے نجات دہندہ کی طرح آپ بھی ضرورت سے کہیں زیادہ ہے ہالویا خدا کی تعریف ہو اینڈ دیٹس وٹ گاڈ وز شوئنگ آئی اور یہ ہے جو خدا کے سایہ کو دکھا رہے ہیں ان دس فورٹی ایف چیپٹر اس چالیسویں باپ میں He told of how he would send John the Baptist. And he said, I am going to speak it now. And so for 748 years, The Hebrews were reading and hearing in the synagogue. Prepare the way of the Lord. Some of us can't hang on to a thought for 700 seconds. But God can create a faithfulness in you. Through the power of the Holy Spirit. Because faithfulness is a fruit of the Spirit. And you can hold fast to your confession of faith. And down through the ages, there were those faithful ones. And they said, somebody's going to cry out in the wilderness. 
जिन्होंने कहा कि कोई बियाबान में आकर आवाज देगा प्रिपेयर द वे ऑफ द लॉर्ड के खुदावन की राह तैयार करो क्लियर अ वे ऑफ द ऑब्स्टिकल्स और जितनी भी ऊंची नीची टेढ़ी मेढ़ी रास्ते हैं निशेप और फराज उनको दुरुस्त करो Make a straight and smooth way in the desert for our God. हमारे खुदाबंद खुदाब के लिए सहरा में शहरा हम वार करो. See when the presence of the Lord shows up. जब खुदाबंद की हजूरी आती है. Desolation has to cease. तो जितनी भी तबाहकारी है उसको अब खत्म हो जाना. Jesus conquered sin and death. यीशु ने गुनाह और मौत पर पता पाई. So you can pray the blessing of the Lord over your surroundings. So you can pray over your house plants. You can pray over your house plants. pray over your house plants. You can 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 pray over your house plants. In life and change, somehow. वो ज़िंदगी और कुछ तब्दीली लाने के ज़रिये से ज़ाहिर होगी. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now Jesus confirms this uh, scripture in the beginning of chapter forty. खुदावन यीशु वसी चालीस बाप के आगाज में जो बात हो रही है उसकी तस्दीक करते हैं. In uh, the book of Mark, Marcus की बात बत लिखी गई इंजील, and that's in chapter one verse three. और पहले बात की तीसरी आयत में. And I lost my bookmark. <laughs> Matthew, Mark, okay. <laughs> I promise I know where it's at. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. And the Apostle Mark, he introduces his letter by saying, "Here's the beginning of the facts about Messiah." And he declares that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And in verse two, he says, "And in verse two, he says, 'I am the Son of God.' And in verse two, he says, 'I am the Son of God.' And in verse two, he says, 'I am the Son of God.' And in verse two, he says, 'I am the Son of God.' And in verse two, he says, 'I am the Son of God.' And in verse two, he says, 'I am the Son of God.' And in verse two, he says, 'I am the Son of God.' And in verse two, he says, 'I am the Son of God.' And in verse two, he says, 'I am the Son of God.' And in verse two, he says, 'I am the Son of God.' And in verse two, he says, 'I am the Son of God.' And in verse two, he says, 'I am the Son of God.' And in verse two, he says, 'I am the Son of God.' And in verse two, he says, 'I am the Son of God.' And the amplified says the messenger will be right in front of your face. Or amplified Bible says that this messenger, this messenger, will be right in front of your face. And this messenger will be right in front of your face. And this messenger will be right in front of your face. And this messenger will be right in front of your face. And this messenger will be right in front of your face. And this messenger will be right in front of your face. And this messenger will be right in front of your face. And this messenger will be right in front of your face. And this messenger will be right in front of your face. And this messenger will be right in front of your face. And this messenger will be right in front of your face. And this messenger will be right in front of your face. And this messenger will be right in front of your face. And this messenger will be right in front of your face. And this messenger will be right in front of your He'll be a voice crying out in the wilderness. Prepare the way of the Lord. Make the path straight. And we all have talked about who John the Baptist is. Jesus' beloved physical cousin. Yeso Masih ka piyara aziz jismani tor par chacha zar. People got mad at John. Yani Yeso Masih ka rishtedar tha aur kai log Yohanna par usse ka izhar bhi karte rahe. You are the son of a priest in the tabernacle. Tum khamay istama me ek kahin ke bete ho. You are supposed to wear the right kind of robe and the vest and all the things. तुम्हारे पास उधर 
बाहर जाकर सब कुछ होने की जरूरत है और तुम्हारे पास है भी जॉन हैड सच अ पावरफुल रेवोल्यूशन ऑफ जीसस योहन्ना के पास खुदावन यीशु मसीह का बड़ा जबरदस्त मुकाशफा था even as far back as when they both were in their mother's wombs yahan tak ke wo apni maa ke patan mein tha see that revelation is strong aur us waqt bhi wo uchal pada aur dekhiye ye bada mazboot mukashifa hai john said i don't need your robes i don't need any of that stuff yohanna unko kehta hai tumhare choge ya tumhare martabo ki mujhe zarurat nahi hai and he went out and he lived in the woods wo gaya bahar lakdiyon mein jungle mein wouldn't that make an interesting nature tv show today kya ye badi dilchasp baat nahi hui hogi agar aaj ka jo nature television show ho to a guy who goes around wearing old camel skin ek aisa shakhs jo bahar jata hai oont ki poshak pehne and he eats bugs and honey aur wo tidiya aur shahad khata hai oh and what a message he had dekhiye kaisa zabardast paigham uske paas tha and only the records of heaven know aur sirf aasman par jo record hai wo janta hai how many people he baptized and got prepared ke kitne logo ko yohanna ne baptisma diya aur taiyar kiya praise the lord khudaan ki tareef ho and this was just a few months or maybe a couple years ye shayad chand maah ya shayad chand saal hue the before jesus was launched into his physical ministry yani kebal iske ki khuda ban ke so masi samne screen par aaye aur apni awami khidmat ka aagaz kare oh i hope we get to watch the whole movie of that in heaven aur main ummeed karti hu ki jab hum aasman par honge to is sari movie ko wahan par dekhenge john knew in his said the center of his being yohanna apni shakhsiyat mein achhi tarah se janta tha the revelation of the truth sachai ke mukashfe ko of this beautiful prophecy they have they've held on to for 700 years is khoobsurat nabuwat ke mutabiq jo saat sade saat 100 saal pehle ki gayi aur log us par qaim rahe God wants you to know who you are. Khuda chahte hain ki aap jaane ki aap kaun hain. No, maybe you haven't physically grown up with physical Jesus 2000 years ago. Child, wo jo jism mein khuda ban Yesu Masih 2000 saal pehle dharti par aaye the, aap us waqt nahi paida hue ho jismani to but from the moment you said yes to jesus lekin jis lamhe aapne yesu masih ko kaha khudavan mein hazir you have been growing up in him aap us mein badhte chale ja rahe hain hallelujah hallelujah and he is our strong yet gentle shepherd aur wo mazboot aur haleem charwa hai Now I want us to go to uh Isaiah 40 and verses we're going to use 9 through 14 I think today. Isliye aaj Yesaya 40 9 se 14 tak hum dekhenge. Remember God is the shepherd of Israel. Yaad rakhiye ki Khuda Israel ka chopan hai. And in the very image of his father अपने बाप की सूरत पर जीसस इज आवर स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड जेंटल शेपर्ड यीशु हमारा मजबूत और हलीम चरवा है एंड आई थिंक दिस इज सच अ ब्यूटीफुल मैसेज टू जूडा राइट नाउ और मैं समझता हूं कि ये पैगाम आज 
Let's read verses 9 and 10. And I'm in the Amplified. Oh, you who bring good tidings to Zion, get up in the high mountain. Oh, you who bring good tidings to Jerusalem, lift up your voice with strength. Lift it up. Be not afraid and say to the cities of Judah, Behold your God. Behold, the Lord God will come with might and his arm will rule for him. And behold, his reward is with him and his recompense before him. Amen. Now this person or people or voice <laughs> who is to bring this message to Judah and Jerusalem we know that uh, in the time 700 years after this that this voice was John the Baptist and indeed Jesus came along right in that preparation Multitudes of people had repented and been baptized. And prepared their hearts to receive Messiah. We don't know how many there were. Praise God. And John went and he preached. He stayed out in the wilderness. And the same way they followed Jesus, multitudes followed him. The Bible clearly says John had disciples. The anointing was great upon him. I don't know. But I would not be surprised. That we will discover in heaven that there were actually starting to happen uh, starting to be some healing miracles the path was being smoothed out people were walking away from the idolatry and the sin in their life and they were ready to place their eyes upon their deliverance. And 
And this voice would say, Behold, the Lord is coming with might. People might say, How can a baby in a cow's food dish be mighty? <laughs> God's ways are higher than man's ways. We had a upcoming priest born in the tabernacle, in the temple. Then we had the very Prince of Heaven, the Messiah, born in a barn. God was speaking through that. Hallelujah. And the arm of the Lord is Jesus. He sits at the right hand of the Father. Indeed, he is the righteous right arm of the Father. And it has a reference verse in Revelation 22. And Jesus said, Behold, I'm coming and I'm bringing my reward. We are his reward. Hallelujah. We're going to rule and reign here with Jesus. I heard one Bible teacher say, Why do I take such good care of things? Because I'm going to be a ruler here someday. <laughs> Hallelujah. When he comes back on that white horse, we're going to be on our horses behind him. We are his inheritance. We are his reward. And his recompense is before him. He shed his precious blood and paid for our victory, our freedom. And that redemption, that recompense is, is going before him. We can say that was part of what Jesus did to prepare this way. Hallelujah. Let's read verse... Let's read verse 11. He will feed his flock like a shepherd, and he will gather the lambs in his arm. He will carry them in his bosom and will gently lead those that have their young. Amen. <laughs> Jama 
we think of Psalms 23. And all the numerous times he is referred to as our shepherd. See, this is salvation. He said, you are my sheep. Now, if you escape and go to the devil's pasture, <laughs> then you don't have the benefit of Jesus. But if you receive him and come on in, Hallelujah. He will embrace you. This is salvation. You are taken care of like a well-fed sheep. <laughs> As the sheep needs a haircut once a year, is if you never cut a sheep's wool off, they'll fall over. They can't hold themselves up. A good shepherd takes that away, that extra weight away. And a good shepherd knows that that can be a blessing. We can make clothing from the wool. We take the oil from the wool. <coughs> and create medicines and good things. A good shepherd anoints the sheep's head with oil. Special treatments to keep the pest and parasites away. Sometimes God... God always wants to take unnecessary weight off of us. There is blessing in that for you. But he doesn't just grab you one day and, uh, and do it. <laughs> He says, come unto me. Allow me to shepherd you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you letting Jesus shepherd you today? Are you grazing in the pasture he's placed you in? Or have you squeezed your fat little woolly head out the fence? <laughs> to eat on some plants on the devil's side of the fence. Are you letting Jesus shepherd you? 
क्या खुदावन यीशु मसीह को मौका देते हैं कि वो आपकी चौपानी करे इफ यू विल सबमिट योरसेल्फ टू गॉड अगर आप अपने आप को खुदा के ताबे करेंगे एंड अलाउ हिम टू शेपर्ड यू और मौका देंगे कि वो आपकी चौपानी करे द डेविल हैज टू फ्ली तो अबलीस को भागना होगा and there is blessing for you and your children and your children's children aur phir isme aapke liye aapke bachcho ke liye even bachcho ke bachcho ke liye bhi barkat bless the mighty name of god hallelujah khuda ka qudrat wala naam mubarak hallelujah now let's read verses 12 13 and 14 ab 12 13 aur 14 ayat ki tilawat karte hain For who has measured the waters in the hollow of his hand and marked off the heavens with a 9 inch span and closed the dust of the earth in a measure and weighed the mountains in scales and the hills in a balance who has directed the spirit of the lord or who as his counselor has taught him with whom did he take counsel that instruction might be given him who taught him the path of justice and taught him knowledge and showed him the way of understanding amen kisne samundar ko chulu se napa aur aasman ki paimaish balish se ki aur zameen ki gard ko paimana mein bhara aur pahadu ko palru mein wazan kiya और तीलों को तराजू में तोला किसने खुदावन की रूह की हदायत की या उसका मशीर होकर उसे सिखाया उसने किससे मशवरत ली है जो उसे तालीम दे और उसे अदालत की राह समझाए और उसे मार्फत की बातें बताए और उसे हमत की राह से आगाह करे आमीन Hallelujah. God is in control and he knows everything. Khuda sab kuch janta hai aur khuda ke kaabu mein har ek cheez hai. See all the gods of those surrounding nations. Khuda un tamam kaamon ko bhi jo hamare ird gird hai unko dekhta hai. We're fashioned out of metal or wood or both. Hum designed by a creation of God almighty and that creation used a creation of God almighty asal mein ye khuda e khaliq hai jiski tehleeqi roo ke sabab se ye cheeze banayi jaati hai aur ye roo khuda ban ki taraf se hi milti hai and the people in isaiah's time yesaya ke waqt ke log they saw so much defeat unhone bahut si shikaste khai hai and they were so bound by fear aur wo khauf aur haras pale dabe hue the they said surely the gods of babylon must be stronger aur unhone kaha ke babel ke jo mahbood hain wo bahut hi bade honge that's like me saying this pen is stronger than god aur ye hai ki ye jo kuch bhi hai ye khuda se kahin zyada bada hai now we have an old saying over here yahan jahan main rehti hu ek purani kahawat hai the pen is mightier than the sword aur ye jo pen hai ye talwar se zyada taakatwar hai that simply means iska matlab ye hai that recorded words ke jo likha hua kalam hai can solve more than war wo aur 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 masail ka hal kar sakta hai well praise god we have evidence of that <laughs> hum is baat ka shukr ada karte hain ki iska saboot hamare paas khuda ka kalam hai but there is no thing no piece of matter 
लेकिन ये कोई ऐसी चीज नहीं कोई टुकड़ा नहीं that can be elevated above the Lord God Almighty. Better mark that down. <laughs> Hallelujah. Who directed the Spirit of the Lord? Did any of these heathen nations stand up and give God instruction on how to make a tree <laughs> certainly not that reminds me of my morning prayer time this morning I slipped into a, a funny little moment. <laughs> Where I said, God, you know, it's like this. <laughs> now, God, this person needs this and this. And I said, you know, if they just did this, <laughs> and I kind of felt my Heavenly Father chuckle at me. <laughs> and I stopped right there. And I said, yes, Lord, it is only for me to declare your word over this person. I said, who am I to explain everything to you? when you can see it all. And we all can get in that little attitude. But we don't direct God. Even the scripture that says According to my word, command me. When you look back at the original, that means that in prayer you declare the word of God. We don't command God. We don't demand. But we make a demand or request upon what he said. If the farmer says, I'm selling potatoes for $2 today. You go to them and say, I'd like to buy that bag of potatoes for $2, please. You are making a demand or request upon the farmer's word. So if someone needed to understand that today. Now quickly as we close. Turn to Romans 11.34. For who has known the mind of the Lord? 
And who has understood his thoughts? Or who has ever been his counselor? Amen. God knows. A lot of people don't understand what it means. A lot of people don't understand. When a preacher says, don't question God. That doesn't mean you can't come to him as your father. And ask him about things. There is a correct a more correct way to explain that. And we can get it by looking at these scriptures. Always come to him in a submissive way. Come in faith. That means you will be full of the word. Because that's how your faith came. Don't go to him in an arrogant attitude. We can't direct the Holy Spirit. <laughs> See, it's his job to direct you. Hallelujah. Jesus is the almighty God in the flesh. He is the counselor. Hallelujah. He is the path of justice. He is the manifestation of the knowledge of God. The Spirit of God comes within us as teacher and guide obviously we have a need for God to send the teaching to us if we think we can teach God that plan will collapse right on your head. <laughs> Praise God. Oh, take his wisdom today. Mm. The way has been prepared. And we can thank the Lord. And we can declare. Oh, valleys be raised up. Mountains be made low. Crooked places be made straight. 
because the way maker lives in me. He is Lord of my life. Hallelujah. 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 I think I wore my Waymaker shirt for a reason. <laughs> Waymaker, miracle worker. Promise keeper. Light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. 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 Father God. Oh. You are, I am. Yeshua HaMashiach. You are, I am in the flesh. And you're dwelling in us today. Lord, shepherd us. I pray for all these dear ones here to come to you as a submissive sheep. <laughs> Anoint us, Lord. Remove the extra weight. We cast those burdens on you. It's too much for us. But it's never too much. For you, more than enough. <laughs> Thank you for meeting every need. You are our gentle and mighty shepherd. And you are the multiplier. And Lord, I pray now as we send out this bread. That it multiplies in the hands of these disciples. And feeds the multitudes. Oh, thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. And it's all in the mighty, precious, powerful name of Jesus. Amen, amen. Amen and amen and amen. Praise God. Thank you so much, dear sister, for this wonderful message that we need to give of our burden to the Lord because He is the caretaker Amen. and burden bearer. Amen. Amen. So much. Amen. Amen. And the way has been made. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. 2,000 years before. <laughs> Hallelujah. God bless Amen. all of you. Thank you so much, brother. You are most welcome, dear sister. Everybody be shiny. <laughs> Tabak chamak te, tabak te rahe.